Hi, I'm Susan Waters from Exceeding Joy. Our scripture this uh, week is Hebrews 12, verse 1. Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a crowd of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down on the right hand of the throne of God. We want to look at the the uh, part of the scripture that says looking to Jesus. And in the first translation that we looked at on Sunday, it says looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. And the next one was looking away from all that will distract us and focusing our eyes on Jesus, who is the author and perfecter of our faith. The first incentive for our belief and the one who brings our faith to maturity. And the last one, now stay focused on Jesus. Who, so when we are focused on Jesus, that is really the answer to all of our struggles. In order to get through those hard times, we need to focus on Jesus. Luke 9 verse 51 says, Now it came to pass when the time had come for him to be received up, that he steadfastly set his face to go to Jerusalem. Now that scripture is talking about Jesus. He steadfastly, there, there was a, a translation that said he set his his face like flint. And that's what we need to do. We need to set our face on the Lord Jesus Christ. Psalm 105 verse 4 says, Seek the Lord in his strength. Seek his face evermore. And when we are focused on the face of Jesus, everything else pales. Nothing else is is grabbing our attention but when we focus on Jesus we see the lover of our soul and he is our greatest cheerleader he's leading us on to victory now you have two challenges today the first one is to keep your focus on the Lord the second one is when other things grab your attention because it's all fine and dandy to say keep your eyes on Jesus but we do get our eyes off of him. So when that happens, bring them back to the Lord. When the circumstance causes you to look at it and and uh, fear grabs you or uh, you get stressed over something, remember, as soon as you remember, refocus on Jesus because he is your answer. So be blessed today as you keep your focus on the Lord. We'll see you tomorrow.